mixed signals coming in from Deal Street. A report by Evi says that while private equity firms have been active for a better part of the year, companies have been a little more selective when it comes to M&A. CNBC TV 18's Naveen Shetty and Arundhati Ramanan look at the year that's been and the year ahead. Temasek, Blackstone, Tiger Global, Sequoia Capital, Warburg Pincus, Bain Capital. These are just a few of the private equity firms that have been busy in India through 2015. They've played both buyer and seller, and global consultancy firm EY says that in the bargain, private equity transactions in 2015 have been the highest in eight years. As buyers, PE firms pumped in $18 billion through 710 deals in 2015, much higher than the $11.7 .7 billion worth of investments concluded in 2014. At the same time, thanks to a robust IPO market and with older investments maturing, quite a few PE firms took back over $6 billion over the year. That's a jump of 35% from last year. So, I mean, at this top line numbers, this was the record year. Uh, we've never had as large an activity uh, either on the investment side or the exit side. However, corporate houses have been more cautious when it comes to walking down Deal Street. Total M&A deal value dropped 8% in 2015 to $20.9 billion. That's because even as cross-border deals spiked 13.7% in value, domestic deals dropped 26%. Global softness impacted the drive in the domestic M&A. So clearly the fact that the global outlook was weak, uh, the commodity cycle was at a low, um, the balance sheets were a bit more stretched and little more leveraged. Most of the buyers were cautious in the domestic market. Mm. The biggest draws have been the technology, pharma and retail sectors and financial services and e-commerce will join the party in 2016. The EY report says the deal pipeline in 2016 looks robust for both private equity investments and M&A deals with the value of mergers and acquisitions rising 20 to 26 percent over the coming 12 months. However, a lot of this will depend on how quickly the crucial government reforms go through and how well India prompts an uptick in the investment cycle. In Mumbai, with Naveen Shetty, Arundhati Ramanan.